Uh, okay, so we just wanted to give you guys a quick demo of what we're looking at introducing with 4.3 probably, as far as uh, introducing support for AWS. Um, we've got a, a permanent instance up and running that has most of the functionality that we expect to deliver for that. So what we're looking at here is the um, accounts page and uh, the AWS accounts have been added as, uh, as new account types. And so our AWS accounts are basically access keys and, uh, and secret keys. Um, there are two steps that we'll be putting in. Uh, one is just running random CLI scripts. Uh, this kind of mirrors what we've got for Azure, where um, the, the script itself takes care of logging in and uh, exposing the, the actual CLI. And then you get to run uh, whatever scripts you want either embedded in a, in a package or, or added directly to the step. Um, one of the things we can do when we're logging in though is assume a role. So AWS has the notion of uh, temporary tokens that allow you to act on behalf of uh, a secondary role. And so in this case, we have the main AWS account, but this particular step then goes on to assume a role that it has the permissions to assume and, uh, and runs a script from there. So if we look at the output of these scripts, um, you can see that, uh, so this particular call was, I get caller identity and uh, the caller identity has come up as the assumed role uh, instead of what would normally happen uh, which would be displaying the details of the actual user account itself. <coughs> uh, so without assuming a role, you'd have output that looks like, uh, like this. Uh, and so it's displaying the details of the, uh, of the, the role itself, of the user itself, I should say. Uh, the other step that we're going to be putting in is the ability to deploy CloudFormation templates, um, very similar to the Azure resource groups. And actually we've modeled almost all of the UI around what's available for the Azure step now. Um, so in this case, you paste in the, uh, the template or reference it from inside a package. Um, if you paste it in, you get the parameters that the, uh, that the template um, requires. Uh, these have validation or um, provide lists. So uh, entering them is, is quite straightforward and they can all be um, deferred to variables as well. Uh, and so when they run, uh, this is the sort of output you can expect. And one of the things that we uh, do as part of running the script is collect the outputs. So if you look at the um, CloudFormation page, each stack or can define a, an output, some sort of generated value as a result of building the stack. And uh, these are captured as part of the deployment process. And uh, then they can just be used in, in whatever other steps we have. Um, so we're, I think we're functionally pretty close to where we want to be. Um, and I don't see any reason why this won't go into 4.3 in uh, early Feb. And um, if anyone wants to take a look or have a play around, uh, we have a, the permanent instance here and it's the usual credentials. So um, join us in the hashtag uh, AWS-things channel and, uh, and let us know if you have any input. Does anyone have any questions? No, nice. sorry, go on. Looks very nice. Yeah, look, it's uh, anyone who's used the Azure stuff, I think all feel right at home. We've, uh, we've taken that philosophy and it works well for cloud formation. So I think- Matt, uh, when you select, uh, if you go to the variables, what do the AWS account variables look like? Can we see? Uh, so that's this one here. Yeah, so when you're selecting them, uh, when you choose one, how, oh yeah. Yeah, so it's similar to your, um, Certificates. Yep. 
And at some point we'll do the Azure ones like that as well. Is that? Yeah, that's the plan. 